New at 6, we're hearing from the Arkansas family who was pulled over and held at gunpoint by police in Texas after officers mistakenly mistake their car as stolen. As Egan Russell explains, the past few weeks have not been easy for this family. It started as a regular Sunday. The tournament we were in was Super 64 Nationals, which took place at uh, the Fieldhouse USA in Grapevine, Texas. Demetria and Myron Hurd, along with son Caleb and nephew Jaden Nicholson, on their way to a basketball game. That's when the Frisco, Texas police officer flipped on their lights behind her. Demetria pulls over. I see another police car pull up, followed by a few others. And my husband looked back and he said they have their guns out. Slowly exit the vehicle. Demetria is instructed to step out. Then her son, Caleb. If you reach in that car, you may get shot, so be careful. Guns pointed at his back. Demetria is distraught. Look can you please not do that to my son? He hasn't done anything and neither have I. Please take the cuffs off of him and don't do this. Officers believe the Charger Demetria was driving was stolen because her license plates didn't match the car. Where'd you get the tag from? Has that always been the same tag on the vehicle? Yes, ma'am. Those officers now admit they got it wrong. The herds are from Arkansas. Officers entered Arizona license plates. It's hard and it's frustrating and it's unfortunate because it never was supposed to happen. Like it matched everything. It's crazy. It's just, I don't know how it happened. He had to go play three games after that incident and was only able to play one. He looked me in my eye on the court and said, Daddy, I can't do it. You know, my nephew come up to me like, look, we almost died. You see what I'm saying? The Frisco police chief apologized in writing, saying, we made a mistake, adding, I've spoken with the family. I emphasize with them and completely understand why they're upset. The herd say the chief called them, but it felt as if it was just after pressure on social media. A spokesperson for the department told me he didn't believe that was true. You never said genuinely, I apologize. It was just my bad, my bad. I made a mistake and I just, I'll never be able to understand why. Because now that's something my son ain't gonna have to deal with. Ian Russell, 5 News.